Some retailers reopen their stores on Oahu Friday, but there are some retailers who provide more for the community than just clothes and were forced to alter or stop some important services during the shutdown. Nikki Schenfeld explains. Goodwill and Salvation Army are more than just thrift stores. Every dollar you spend at one of their stores helps support the local community. And now, more than ever, their services are needed by so many in Hawaii who have been impacted by COVID-19. Goodwill reopened their stores across Oahu on Friday. Many people cleaned up their homes during the stay-at-home order, and they were flooded with donations. We had roughly 150 bags donated the first day filling up um, possibly eight bins. Goodwill's mission is helping those with employer barriers, and their services were needed in a major way when thousands were laid off from work. Basically, it was like a 100% increase in the number of people trying to access our services. Most of the people that came to us within the past two months, you know, were all people that were having trouble um, and, and were displaced or load from work. Goodwill helped people file for unemployment benefits and emergency financial aid, just to name a few. When you're shopping in our stores or, you know, just donate something to us, um, it's helping us to provide for more than 10,000 people each year. I mean, that number will probably go up this year um, significantly. Salvation Army plans on reopening its Kailua and Sumner Street locations on May 22nd. One service that was impacted and expected to see an increase due to COVID is the drug and alcohol rehabilitation services. The proceeds from those stores fund the program. The men are able to do this six-month program at no cost to them. And we had to close our stores mid-March. So we've been, uh, we haven't been able to bring new men in because of the quarantine issues. Is there a concern that we might see like an uptick in, you know, drug, alcohol usage? Oh, yes, absolutely. The stress of COVID, the financial stress, the isolation, there is going to be a lot more issues with addiction and mental health and people just not knowing how to cope. Now, with many residents on a budget, both thrift stores are encouraging people to shop and help one another. Your purchase saves lives. Uh, and that is not just some fancy tagline. That is the absolute truth. Nikki Schoenfeld, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. Nikki, thank you. As the state starts